Battle Royale has taken the gaming world by storm, and whenever one of these genres gets so, so popular and you have one game dominating the market, you know that there are other games that are gonna come to the forefront. Right now, we have Fortnite ahead of the pack, and it's followed by a couple of games like PUBG, H1Z1, but there are also a ton of upcoming Battle Royale titles on the way, and that's what we're gonna go over in this video. We're gonna be taking a look at 14 upcoming Battle Royale titles that you need to know about. Let's get right into this. First up, we have Egris. Egris is taking the Battle Royale formula and it's combining it with another very popular formula and that is the Souls-like formula. Yes, now we have Souls-like gameplay combat with the Battle Royale genre. It's still gonna be a while before we see this game, but it's got a great setting taking place in an alternate universe combining the Victorian era and Lovecraft's mythology. There will be several hero classes with unique abilities as well as both solo and team modes. Again, we don't have a release window for Egris, but hopefully it hits sometime in 2019. Next up, we have Rings of Elysium Europa. Rings of Elysium is already one of the most popular Battle Royale games. It's available in a few Southeast Asian countries, and the game definitely looks to be inspired by PUBG. It's got a more realistic vibe to it, which I can definitely appreciate. And considering this is already a pretty functional game, hopefully we see it rather soon. Next up, we have Realm Royale on consoles. Now, Realm Royale is already available to play on PC, but a console version is said to be coming soon. Realm Royale, of course, does have a fantasy setting, which is a nice new coat of paint for the Battle Royale genre. You can play as a variety of different classes, including assassin, warrior, mage. You'll pick your class, then loot fantastic weapons and magical abilities to create your own champion. Again, Realm Royale should hit the PS4 and Xbox One soon, hopefully before 2018's out. If not, then early 2019, I think, would be a good bet. Next up, we have Dying Light Bad Blood. Yes, Dying Light is making the transition to the Battle Royale genre. And I don't think this is one a lot of you guys are talking about, but it's a new multiplayer title set in the Dying Light universe. You'll be able to enjoy violent and dynamic online matches that blend PvP and PvE styles of gameplay seamlessly. And it's still looking to retain the core of Dying Light's unique experience, including the parkour gameplay. You can already sign up now to participate in the free global playtest on Steam. Otherwise, I expect this to be another 2019 release. Next up, we have Islands of Nine on consoles. Islands of Nine is another Battle Royale title that's already released on PC and it's gotten quite a bit of a following on PC. It has you drop into massive alien built arenas and begin the frantic search for weapons and gear, all while trying to stay one step ahead of the advancing plasma field or the sights of other contenders. You'll use your newly found gear to hunt down other players or inevitably face them during the final stages of the match. Islands of Nine is a Battle Royale that has very good visuals, so that's already something that'll entice a lot of gamers. It's coming to the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One sometime down the line. Next up, we have Crazy Justice. Crazy Justice is a battle royale title that has you choose a hero, then select and customize your skills and loot powerful weapons to be the best champion. You'll travel across the world to save it from the forces of evil with your friends or be the best in the free 100 player PvP mode. The last one standing wins, so you've got a little bit of variety in the playstyles of Crazy Justice. Next up, we have Mavericks Proving Grounds. Mavericks is touted as a revolutionary MMO tactical shooter developed by Automaton in partnership with Crytek, who are the guys behind the Crisis games, and that's how you can tell where the incredible visuals come from. The game touts huge environments that are beautiful and highly dynamic, enabling tactical gameplay through detailed world simulation. It also touts offering a truly interactive world experience where you can create the ultimate destruction blowing up trees to fragile walls, decimate grassy meadows, spreading chaos through the woodland, causing chain reaction using the dynamic fire propagation system, leaving nowhere for your enemies to hide. At the very least, it'll be one that's nice to look at. Oh. 
Next up, we have Fear the Wolves. Fear the Wolves is a competitive battle royale FPS by Vostok Game, bringing stalker DNA to the brutal 100 player arena. The game drops players in squads or lone wolves into the oppressive environments of radiation ravaged Chernobyl spread across a 25 kilometer square map. The classic battle royale mode forces them to fight to be the last man standing out of 100 fighters. While there will be another mode in this game that is to be unveiled and it's said to bring an exciting twist to the genre. The game itself will be across the hostile waste. Everyone is threatened by deadly anomalies and the dynamically changing weather voted for by players and spectators, both in-game and on streaming platforms. Fear of the Wolves is a highly anticipated BR title and bringing Stalker into Battle Royale, that is very exciting. Next up, we have Not My Car. Not My Car is an indie battle royale title that's combining a couple of different genres, the battle royale genre and the vehicular-based combat game, something to the style of Twisted Metal, and that sounds awesome. This is completely different to every other on-foot battle royale game because you're in a car. Right now, we don't know much about Not My Car, but this one has potential to be a very unique battle royale experience. Next up, we have Proxima Royale. Proxima Royale is a competitive sci-fi battle royale shooter. It features fast-paced combat. You'll have to loot weapons and drive to survive. It also touts beautiful landscapes from an exoplanet, and you'll have to eliminate your enemies to become the last robot standing. Next up, we have Battle Rite Royale, and this is another Battle Royale game that's combining two genres. Battle Rite is actually a MOBA, and now Battle Rite Royale is taking the MOBA mechanics and dropping it into a Battle Royale game. It'll still have an isometric camera, top-down WASD controls, and you'll still have to check out the map, but you'll have limited view of what you can actually see. An interesting combination of genres. I'm a little bit skeptical on Battle Rite, but it could turn out to be something cool. Next up, we have Battlefield 5 Battle Royale. Now, Battlefield 5 Battle Royale is something we still don't know a lot about. It was announced at E3 and we know that it won't be arriving with the Battlefield 5 launch, rather it'll be coming sometime down the line. Now a lot of positive press has been put around the fact that EA said that there will be no paid maps in Battlefield 5, but if you actually listen to how they word it, they never said that the Battle Royale update was gonna be free. Hopefully it is, but this could be one where you buy Battlefield 5 and then Battle Royale is a paid expansion. I hope that isn't the case. But that is something to bear in mind. But honestly, as a first-person shooter out of the two major FPS franchises that's getting a Battle Royale mode, and of course, we'll get to the other one later, Battlefield is the one that I could foresee adapting to Battle Royale better. We'll find out soon enough. As I mentioned, two major FPS franchises are moving to Battle Royale, and Call of Duty Black Ops 4 is coming with Call of Duty Blackout. This is another one we don't know too much about Blackout. We know that a beta will be beginning very soon, and the map itself will feature locations inspired by maps from across the series, and the map is also said to be 1,500 times the size of Nuketown. Now, even though Nuketown is a very, very small map, 1,500 times the size of Nuketown is absolutely enormous, so it'll be interesting to see if they live up to that. On top of that, we do know that characters from across the series, including the original COD Zombies Origins will be available. Weapons and equipment from across the series will also return and Blackout will feature land, air, and sea vehicles. Blackout seems to have a lot of potential. We'll find out very, very soon if that potential is realized because remember, Blackout will be launching with Black Ops 4 on launch. And finally, we have a recently announced Battle Royale title in Farside. Farside was originally to be a mobile Battle Royale game, but now it's been announced that it's coming to the PlayStation 4 as well as announced at the China Joy PlayStation press conference. The mechanics to this game seem very similar to your traditional battle royale game. You're gonna have vehicles, you're gonna have weapons. This is one we just saw a CG trailer. We still don't know too much about it and I still have to be sold on it, but Farside is another battle royale to keep your eyes on. So that is 14 upcoming battle royales. Honestly, all of these are probably not games everyone is gonna wanna check out, but we've got 14 upcoming battle royale games and at the very least, some of these will be good. Personally speaking, Mavericks Proving Grounds looks great. Fear the Wolves looks like it has a lot of potential. Battlefield 5 and Black Ops 4 making the transition to Battle Royale, that'll be very interesting. And along with that, maybe we'll have a couple of games like Not My Car Surprise Us. That's gonna conclude this video. Sound off with your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye.